Welcome back to more Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2. I'm Negative Zero. Thank you for watching. I hope you're doing all right. Well, we've got to go kill all of these guys that are upstairs and make our way to a door to let my main character, NZ, into the game or into, into this area anyway. Now, we've got all these locked... Do we have no security skill? We must not. Let's just break it down with our fists. You know what would be fun, I thought would be if if we made Hanhart, let's see oh I don't think we can unless we're at the level up screen but if we could make him where are we here we are if we could make him a unarmed combat specialist oh Wookie frenzy oh wait let's look oh I'll hold that thought I'll get back to that in a second but I want to see what this is this feed allows the Wookie to enter killing frenzy during combat in this state they gain plus six strength and plus three vitality point per character level, plus three to the fortitude and will saves, and are immune to paralysis and stasis. Every creature feels their frenzy more, adding to the damage they do. <laughs> what? Two extra attacks around, and it lasts for 60 seconds. Wow. That is awesome. Uh, what's this thing up here? Wookie toughness. And I wonder if we can get regular toughness on top of that. How many hit points does he have? 360. I, I think our character, our main character, is around 120, 130, maybe 150. I don't know. But I want to try this rage thing. Anyway, I was thinking of what if he could be an unarmed specialist and he would be like, remember in the first core tour, if you use your claws as a Wookiee, you're a mad claw. Wouldn't that be great for him? Anyway, I don't know if he can do that. I'm just going to break down all these doors. I don't really know what's around here. Oh, here we go. Let's see. Uh, oh, here we are. Wookie Frenzy. Let's do it. Oh, <laughs> look at that. This is awesome. Yeah, you're doing no damage to me, buddy. Nothing. Oh my gosh, this is fantastic. Oh, he did a little damage to me. Who else? Look at this. Oh, how often can we use this? I don't even know where I'm going. I'm just opening up doors, murdering everybody. Get in there. Or, okay. Don't go after that guy, go after this guy. Oh, yes. Get the next guy. Go. Go, man. What are you doing? Here. Oh, this is so fun. What are we trying to get to anyway? What does the journal say? It doesn't say. Well, let's look at the rooms, the sparring room. Beast pen. Yep, we know about that. Workbench. Oh, it might be that bit over on the side to the Jack Jack Tar. Over on the right. And no, where are we? Oh, okay. I think I get it. We have to go back the way we... Hold on. Back the way we came. I think we have to work our way to the south. Uh, the south... You east. Yeah, this way. Now, can we... Oh! Hold on. Let's use Frenzy again, because we can. And then murder everybody. Oh boy. This is a lot of people. But we're doing it. Come on. Kill him. We're missing a lot. Not that it matters. Let's go. Who else is up here? Let's go. Oh, we're down to half health. Let's maybe use a... Do we have a good health pack? Advanced med pack. Oh, that did almost nothing. Hold on. Life pack.
Wow, he has so many hit points. The life's look at the little bar on the bottom right, where his health is right now. And then as I use a life support pack, it's not even a quarter of his health. Oh no, no! Oh dang it! Well, let's go kill these last guys. I think this is the door we want. Come on. If you look at the map, here we're in the south. I, I think this is the right door. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. I was looking at... Oh, we probably shouldn't... Oh, it didn't break all the stuff. We'll take it. Hmm. I was thinking the bottom right would be the way that we wanted to go. I guess we just work our way... Th oh, no, no. It's got to be the top right. Ah, I see. I see. I love playing as Hanhar. He is so overpowered. Oh, I cannot wait to... Uh, I, and I can't wait to get his, um, his Vibro Swords really attuned to his style. What I was saying last time about the Keen and everything else, I don't think that's right. I think that quadrupling it still only makes it on a... Because um, they do like 20-sided die dice rolls. And our weapon does a... Let's see. It does... If we look at it, if you look at critical threat down there, it says 17 to 20 and times 2 is the times 2 damage you get if you get a critical. But I think... And I was saying last time, since we have, when we do the critical strike or whatever it's called, the master critical attack, it quadruples the threat. Now, this is 4 out of 20 that would be the attack, that would be the critical, if we rolled that on our on our 20-sided die roll, and quadrupling it, that would make 16. Quadruple is times 4, but I don't think that's right. I, I can't see how that would be right, because the majority of the time... You would be getting criticals. Like every time you hit, you would be a critical. I mean, it would be cool if that was right, but I suspect it might be more like 19 to 20 is the original one. And it's so quadrupling that is just eight. Eight out of the 20 uh, of the dice rolls would be critical strikes. I, that seems more likely and reasonable. But hey, if we can, whatever, it's a, it's a great attack and I want us to do more of it. Is this the door we want? I think it is. This door is magnetically sealed and triple reinforced dura steel. It looks like it leads to the vent tunnels where the Jedi is trapped. There may be an override somewhere else on the level. So we have to go through this level on our own. Did we see any turn? I don't think we've seen any terminals yet. Time to rage. Yep. Get in there. Oh, beautiful. Just basically like one attack kills. Uh, we're just going to go around until we find a terminal. Let the Oh, this looks like a nice computer room. There's nobody in here. Ventilation control. Slice it. Security cameras, training chamber, killed everybody in there. Uh, switch to camera? No. This, chamber west. Looks like we killed everybody there. Root menu, system commands. We have eight spikes. Let's just open the security doors. We don't really care about the schematics. We're going to run around everywhere anyway. All right. Let's open. Oh, hold on. Maybe now we can open this? Hey, what's going on, buddy? I love it. It's just ridiculous how powerful he is. Oh, yeah.
Did we not just open the security door? I thought we did. We used a spike, right? Maybe there's a different one. Well, let's go kill these guys. At least we can do that. Yep. <laughs> ah! Amazing. Escape tunnel. This door is magnetically sealed and triple reinforced. It looks like it was designed to keep someone in or keep others out. It looks like an, it's an emergency escape route of some sort controlled by a sophisticated hand terminal next to it. Well, is that the thing we want? I don't think it is. We still have to let the Jedi in. Based on the area's schematics, there are only two entrances into Visquis's space. One is through the tunnels from the Jack Tech Tower. The other is a private emergency tunnel, a pre-programmed escape route to the Narshadad docks in the event the security door to the vent tunnels is opened. No, no, no. We don't want to leave. Not yet. We've been, yeah, we've been through there. Lockers. These are. Hmm. We've been everywhere. What have I missed? Oh, we never went on this side. So that's a thing. Okay, time to rage. Come on. Get him. Amazing. Let's open this up. Numbness system? What is that? Oh, I like that. Let's put that on. Let's do this. I, I guess we... Well, it looks like we did... What did that say? It looks like we did it. We're just gonna... Rifle through all their things. Pick up all this awesome stuff. There's another storage room right here. We might have already gotten everything from it. Yeah. Now, where are we? Okay, that was Hanhar. We're trying to get to... Oh my gosh. 
You know what? We haven't choked anybody in forever. Uh, are we not going in? Choke that guy. <laughs> now let's kill this dude. Yep. Get the next guy. Why are you guys just stand? Why is the other guy... Let's choke him again. <laughs> choke. Oh, I was... I kind of auto-ran up to him. I was going to kind of let him... I was kind of going to let him choke out. Now, we don't want to go down. Or do we want to go... Or do we want to go down? Did we get everything in here? Let's get this. This quiz is down there. Let's just run into this room. I don't remember if we got all the loot. Yeah, we did. Let's end this. You need to choose one party member to accompany Atten and Beodur. Hmm. Not... Maybe the Handmaiden? I think so. Just in case. I don't know what they're doing. So, Atten's got the security and stealth. Beodur has all the other tech skills. So they need a strong fighter so handmaiden it is she has oh my gosh everybody's everybody's got to level up let's get let's not do atten or you know what let's just do her everybody else will be fine it looks like we have maybe two levels so let's take our time with this we get a force power what do we want for her she gets one Awareness? Sure. Oh, she's got stasis, and now she can get stasis field. That will be perfect. The next one. Hmm. I really want to get this to plus one, but I know all of you are saying constitution strength, constitution strength. I don't care about the strength. She's got a much better constitution or er, er, dexterity, and she's got good. Um, she's got finesse with lightsabers, so that's fine. Great attacks, but we could go a little bit more in constitution. More awareness, feats, toughness, maybe toughness. She's got the toughness. Uh, looks like we'll do the next conditioning. Plus six to all deflection. Oh no, this is Jedi defense. Deflection rolls. She will basically never get hit by blasters. I'll take it. Yeah. You know what? We're going to get... I think we're going to get affliction... It's good enough. She's a little bit dark side. It's perfect for her. One more level. That'll get us to plague. Perfect. She's good to go. So she's going to stasis just right in the middle there. I have no idea how many people it'll, affa it'll affect. We'll let the boys do whatever they want to do. She'll run up. Oh, wait, wait, no, no, no. No, she won't. She will... Speed? Yeah. And then go in. I hear you. Look at this. Look at Beodur. More where that came from. Oh, maybe... I think that was Atten, actually. Just... 
mowing down the enemies. That was pretty amazing. Let's... She's already got the speed. No, no, no. Stasis and then go in. Get that guy. We got the HKs. I, I like how they're just every type of enemy is going on right here. What, what are the boys doing? Beodur, come on, man. We're fighting. Okay, that was a little bit... Let's heal. And she's got almost no force points left. Now there's that over there. There are dudes... All around. We are trying... Where are we trying to go to? I think we're trying to head towards the Jack Jack Tar. Right? I can't remember. So that is... Oh, why is everything... Why is it all grayed out now? Look at how evil she is now. Like, we're all a little evil now. We, we must have good influence with those guys, just not quite enough to level up for them to have turned this much. Maybe not Atten. Atten hasn't actually changed that much. What's going on? I'm here. But man. And Maiden here. Okay, more Gand. They won't be a problem. Oh, they all say. More where that came from. Time to take you down to size. Is there another one? There is. You got it, Beodur? What kind of loot do these guys have? Some fiber armor. Pressing on. Oh my gosh, look at all those dudes. Can we... No. I don't want to fight them all at once. We need to just stasis the heck out of these dudes. Like, we're not afraid of the blaster fire. Right. Hidmeade can take that pretty well. Where that came from? Good. Good, 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 good. Where that came from? Now, let's handle those droids. No force points left. Time to take you down to size. Let's settle in. No real problem. No real problem at all. Uh are we Like there's nobody here. Notice all the merchants are gone. Is this where we want to go? The docks. Yes, it is. You're the one who wanted to see me, so what do you want? Hmm. 
Because you've put a bounty on my head, I've heard of the exchange and I want to join you. I'm looking to become the new exchange boss. I had to get your attention somehow. I'm looking for some information. Well, at the end of the day, we we just want information on the Jedi that's here. We've done some, some bad things here. We've done a handful of good things. But we really just want to find that Jedi and get out of here. I'm looking for some information. So he's not... It seems like he's not impressed with us, even though we've killed all of his bodyguards. Most of his bodyguards. Uh, why don't you tell me why you're squeezing life out of the refugee sector? Nah, I don't care about that. I haven't even begun to get your attention yet. Tell me why you put a bounty on my head. That That's information I do actually want. Ah, okay. So the reason that they were messing with the refugees... Remember, way back when we first met them, they were um, complaining about the new sort of way that the exchange was acting as, as opposed to leaving them alone. Now they were like taking people and enslaving them and so on, like that one daughter and mother combination. So they were doing that just to draw out the Jedi, kind of like what I was doing in aiding the exchange to draw out the Jedi, the other, <laughs> the other Jedi. So, enough. Why Why the bounty? Why the bounty? We don't really care about the refugees, but why is the bounty on my head? Ugh. Come on, I can do breath control. This better not knock me out. While the Jedi remains on Nar Shaddaa, my eyes shall watch him. <laughs> Enough. <laughs> uh, he's mine to kill, not yours. Go on, kill him slowly. I mean, he's caused us a lot of problems, right? I don't particularly need individual vengeance on Visquis. Obviously, the bounty on our head comes from Goto himself, but we'll deal with that later. Visquis, as long as he's out of the way, we don't need to do it ourselves. So go on, Goto. Kill him slowly. What an amusing Jedi specimen. 
specimen you are. <laughs> Kreia. Awaken, beast. I have saved your life, beast. That makes it mine. Because there is something to be learned of strength, beast, even within your empty shell, and it will be needed in the times ahead. No, that you shall not do. You will not bring harm to the exile, and if you do, beast, I shall break you. The screams of your tribe of primitives, the scene of lying blinded with the huntress's blaster at your skull, I shall make it so that is all you hear and see for the rest of your days. Even your madness will not save you if you bring harm to the exile. Know this. Oh, the life debts of your people, the life debt you have twisted with your hate, I felt it within you. I shall promise you this, beast. Unlike the red-maned huntress, as long as you are loyal, I shall never show you mercy. No pity. All it requires is that you immerse yourself in another lie. The exile, you shall be his servant until I call upon you. Do this thing and I shall grant your desire. But you know a way, right? What does Goto want with Vagus Freighters? Yeah. 
You know, that that sounds like a reasonable plan, actually. So how do we become one of Vaga's freighters? Wow, so the plot has definitely thickened in the last couple of videos, and things have progressed. We are almost at the end of Nar Shada, but we're going to have to wrap it up in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed our time together. Take care. <laughs>